Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan and thanks for joining us for our Tuesday update recorded on August the 27th. The windy weather is about to move into some parts of the country and it drives in some rain as well, mostly to the western sides of both main islands. We're going to break down the rainfall today over the next seven days, but also a 15-day outlook, seeing as yesterday we were talking about how this windier weather is going to linger for two weeks. Also, the windy weather isn't for everybody. Not everyone is going to have this and it won't be for every single day of the week. It's going to surge off and on depending on the size and shape of the storms like this one down here in the Southern Ocean. So the animated wind map for Tuesday for this evening shows a small area of low pressure off the west coast. That is going to help fuel a little bit more windy weather, especially through Cook Strait, maybe a little bit around Auckland, nothing too serious by the looks of it. And that rain is moving through at the moment. And of course, with all this low pressure and all these strong winds, we are not done yet. So this is for the next 48 hours, starting from 9 o'clock tonight. You can see here in the brighter blue and the green shading some of the rain. You can see a little bit here, some rain as well. And you'll see the isobars moving through over the next 48 hours as that storm or storms, there's more than one really, down there in the Southern Ocean churn away. So let's animate the 48 hours. You'll see that surge of windy weather coming through here for Thursday. So Thursday is sort of the next day of more severe weather around the country as we see a burst of rain moving in, uh, rain moving into the western side of the nation, but it's the windy weather really from the top to the bottom that will be possibly the main feature of the day on Thursday, severe gales out of the northwest. And there's another surge over here in Australia, the next surge of windy weather about to come back into Bass Strait. All right, Wednesday, lunchtime, speaking of Bass Strait, the area here, look at the big, strong, severe gales passing through southeastern Australia. That is ahead of our Thursday surge of windy weather, that's it. So ahead of that, on Wednesday, it's not too bad. A little bit of a west to southwesterly breeze in the north, bit of a stronger northwesterly breeze in the south. Now that will pick up as the day wears on. A bit of wet weather in the North Island, not as much as we've been seeing, and that will taper off by the time we get to the end of the day. Should become fairly dry. Temperatures on Wednesday, fairly mild across the country, certainly seeing it down here in southern areas. As I said yesterday, there were threes and fours as your maximums just over a week ago. And we're seeing 18s now popping up around some parts of the North Island and central New Zealand, also starting to see numbers going up by a couple of degrees. Lunchtime Thursday. All right, this is the windy day and wet as well. We've got a front moving in. There may be a couple of isolated heavy falls as a result of that front moving through. But look at all the windy nor'westers howling through the country. Uh, there'll be severe gales in some areas. Not everyone, as I say, not everyone will have the windy weather and not everyone will have any problems with it. But as you can see, there is a windy setup here. If you're a sailor, you would know that this is not the best day to be heading out on a boat because there are severe gales all around the place. And of course, colder air coming into the South Island. Now, we haven't spoken a lot about this because it's not a major event, but yes, snow is on the way again for the mountains and ranges and the ski fields of the South Island. And by Friday, some of that snow might just make it briefly into the North Island's ski fields. It's short-lived because the airflow is a nor'wester out of Australia, so that's not overly cold. But the front clears off, showers, windy westerlies carry on for many places as we get to the end of the week. And now over to our friends in Tasmania, there is the next stormy surge. It says 935 here, but if you zoom in, it says 927 hectopascals. So that is very low air pressure stretching down into Antarctica itself and stretching up into Australia. So that storm is affecting two different continents, which is quite something. So let's go towards the weekend now, or into the weekend. Saturday, another surge of windy northwesterlies across the country. Severe gales possible from Canterbury up to about the lower North Island. Heavy rain on the west coast again. And there'll be showers moving into the North Island because it's a northwesterly, spring-like, warmer than usual. That could mean some of those showers become a little bit heavier. And all the windy westerlies carry on south of Australia. And again on Sunday. So on Sunday... You know, we'll get that wet weather on Saturday, Saturday night, clears off by the looks of it by lunchtime on Sunday. Then we have more westerlies out of Australia, another surge of severe gales in the southeastern corner of Australia, more of this big low pressure down to the south. But actually, around New Zealand on Sunday may not be that bad. Uh, we'll be seeing light, uh, lighter winds, still windy in some areas, but not quite as strong 
as they were on the Saturday. And then back to Monday next week, here comes the next big windy surge out of Australia into the South Island, into Cook Strait. This is not looking overly problematic, but you know, these winds off and on can cause problems here and there around the country. The odd tree down, power cuts, might be a few roofs lifted or you know uh, barns with their roofs coming off. So that's just a possibility. Uh, it's still too far out to lock in some of these winds. So keep up to date with the Met Service warnings and watches, and also keep up to date with Lert Info. They do a really good job at covering everything beyond weather, like the weather as well, but also if you've got problems with roads and the police or fire service, Lert Info can help you out with that. Okay, let's have a look at the rainfall now, seven day rainfall. This is the first one, so it shows you the heavy rain over here on the western side of the South Island. That's where you're talking 200, 300, maybe 400 millimeters over in the areas you know, that normally get it. Other parts of the west coast here in the gold shading still showing 100 to 200 millimetres, uh, but over here in the east, that is not very much, much, sorry, that is zero to five millimetres for most of you over on that eastern side. But some of these areas here on the western side of the North Island are getting up to that 60, 80, maybe over 100 millimetres around the Tararua range. So just a couple of areas to still keep an eye on. Now this is the 15 day map and the colors are a little different to the one we just showed you from a different source. Uh, this is for 15 days. Now the blue you see over here in that dark blue, that is off our scale here because normally we only show you 100 millimeters or so. So what you're seeing here in that dark blue is 500 millimeters or so over the next 15 days, over the next two weeks. The good news about this is that will affect some of our hydro dams, rain coming in for them, and some spillover into Canterbury, into eastern areas. But it's worth noting these areas here in the greens and the pale blues, one, five, 10 millimeters. So Canterbury may not get a huge amount of rain, but some spill over from all that heavy stuff. And in the North Island, it's about from Waitomo down towards Taranaki, and then down towards uh, southern parts of Manawatu, Horofenua, Kapiti Coast, those areas are getting maybe 100 millimeters or more. So we've still got some heavy rain coming through with these relentless westerly winds that are going to be blowing through. That is all from me for today. I'll see you again tomorrow with our next update.